What's up guys? That was a brutal kick to the head. You know, that's just like how if you had money in FTX or any other exchange that that crapped out at this year of 2022 and you know you couldn't liquidate it and you had like you know a couple thousand dollars that kick to the head felt exactly how that would situation would be i think that would be my opinion all right so i'm here to tell you guys what's going on with the evergreen miner meaning what's inside of it because a lot of guys have been asking me like what the hell is in this side of it I'm, I'm curious too i popped it open and i finally decided to do a video and let you guys know and show you and share with you what's in it and how it's operating and what it's running one of my subscribers is really enthusiastic about trying to clone it i don't think that would be a great idea but i mean feel free to do whatever you have to do don't think it necessarily needs to be cloned because if you are a chia farmer it's more or less the same concept just in a smaller package but again i'll show you guys in a little bit what i'm talking about price of xch is thirty dollars and 77 cents it has been okay so far i did my last video and i said i took out five plus xch from kucoin because that's what i've been using to buy xch well i haven't been doing it frequently i did it one time or a couple of times in the past not 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 recently i currently as a chia farmer for the last year on gg pool i've acquired maybe i think it's around i haven't double checked recently but i would say i think 35 or 40 xch not including the five that i just took out of from kucoin 40 ish xch and of course that's accumulating every day still because i'm part of a pool i got 2731 plots and that's all on gg pool current no count is 110,000. the number has been probably half of what a all-time high of node counts for chia but if you take this number in comparison to any other project that's out there right now this number is really significant because it's a hell of a lot more than any other project you, i think you can find out there that has notes impressive one way or another even though it had lost half of the notes from its all-time high of 200 plus thousand chia notes current version of chia is at 1.61 and you probably can't see that because i'm blocking right here 1.61 i am seeing more and more people jumping on this and i've also been hearing and seeing a lot of people running into hang-up issues on the window side meaning it's not loading and people are actually reverting back to 1.6 i am currently on 1.6 and i haven't updated since because of those issues that i'm seeing or hearing about i had my fair share of issues when i was at 1.51 before the 1.6 and this solved all my issues right here so because of that i am going to probably say no to 1.61 for now until i necessarily have to unless there's some conspiracy where chia releases something to cause this to fail or not respond you know like how apple does their updates then of course i will go back to updating the next latest and greatest version today let's go over why i'm here and what we're going to be talking about now so let me just bring that up we have the evergreen miner let me just maximize this. the evergreen miner we're running a 12 terabyte evergreen miner so what's in here now the first thing i want to point out is i had this thing all set up and i was plugged into my living room and my living room mind you does not have all this forgot to turn this on for the nice ambient feature does not have all these drives and and gpu mining equipment now this is not my living room but when i had this guy in my living room this fan right here was extremely extremely loud now this fan and this plug plugs into the module somewhere along here uh actually this cable right here all right that cable right there it just exhausts the heat from the drive out but this fan is pretty powerful i don't know what the rpm on it is but it whines like a little bitch almost seems like it's one of those little server fans much louder than the one that's actually on the raspberry pi right here you can see right here so i disable that because obviously i have it opened right now so there is more than enough exposure to you know not enclosed anymore so this is a 12 terabyte hard drive the uh cushions the mounts on this pretty secure pretty stable all right now you're probably wondering like okay let's get to the real part of it what the hell is in here this guy right here is a raspberry pi 4 all right and it has a 16 gigabyte micro sd card that's plugged in and that's probably what's running the uh miner or the farmer all right this usb cable actually just plugs in as power 
This is the power. This black cable is actually part of this USB. This USB is actually connecting back right here. It, it goes back. It goes around. All right. It goes around and it plugs back into the hard drive. That's that's what's connecting to the hard drive. Hard drive has its own power. So there's two power adapters that you need to find. Now, one thing I kind of mentioned during my first Evergreen Miner video or second one was that I had difficulties plugging in this these two units because the adapters are so bulky that as soon as you plug these two in a, in a generic you know six port power strip you're left with no room to plug in anything else which makes it really really annoying because you basically have a whole power strip just to plug in two devices and unfortunately you know the power adapters are so wide that when you plug it in it takes up the space of the you know adjoining power ports or whatever you call them and you can't plug anything else in because it's so damn tight, right? So that's that's the downfall of that, unfortunately. So I could only imagine if you had more than one of these, you would probably need to get the splitter that they offer. So you don't have to keep on plugging in all these uh, power adapters, these bulky power adapters. So I looked up the hard drive. It's a 12 terabyte OS equivalent. The only thing I found closest to what's in here is this guy right here. All right, it's a STL00. It didn't match this exactly, but from the sticker, this is what it looked like. All right, exactly what it looked like. You know, let me pull that up again. Hopefully you guys can tell. So that's pretty much what it looked like, more or less. And I even had the QR code over here. I scanned the QR code. The QR code doesn't tell me anything. So it, it didn't reference anything. So this hard drive goes for $129.99. All right. And this guy, wow, is in New York. I can probably even try to meet up with him and go pick it up. But I won't. It is a SATA drive. So, you know, you could plug it into your regular hard drive. If you bought a bunch of these, you can actually buy two, three of these. Now, here's the thing. If you guys are interested in this Evergreen Miner 12 terabyte, which is exactly the same one that I have over here that's exposed right now, goes to $399. So you're asking yourself, who in the world would want to buy this over buying hard drives and setting it up on your machine and plotting? So there's the thing. This is already plotted. It's already completely plotted and it's plug and play. You Once you receive it, give it power, set it up on the app on the phone and you're farming chia now with this chia experience beginner and expert i have no idea what that even why that makes a difference i'm not sure select your experience with chia below if you are very familiar with speed phrases and farmer key custody select expert otherwise choose beginner i've been doing chia for the last year i'm, I'm even i'm having a hard time understanding what difference would that make huh. okay i will probably just do beginner if you haven't set anything up prior uh, C phrase is the 24 word phrase for your wallet. Now, I don't suggest, I, honestly, I don't suggest them pre-setting that up for you and then giving you your C phrase because then that means someone knows your C phrase, right? I don't know. Why, why would this be an option? Why not just, I don't know. Anyway, going to probably reach out to Evergreen just to get a better understanding of why that would make a difference here. All right. So this is the 12 terabyte. If you wanted to upgrade to 16 terabytes, $4.99. But remember, the price that you're paying is also because you don't have to plot. Now, I put out a video the other day saying that, you know, GPU is a thing for plotting Chia plots now. So if you have a GPU, possibly you can utilize that because if you went out to just buy the drives alone, it's more affordable this way for a 12 terabyte. If you didn't want to pick up a 12 terabyte single drive from Evergreen for $399, you could pick up two drives over here for $260. And then of course, if you have a machine already that you can dedicate for Chia farming and possibly decent hardware, you can probably get away with just doing everything yourself. But again, it wouldn't be as fluid because you actually have to go through the whole learning process of setting up the GUI, setting up the farmer, and then having to plot and making sure everything works, right? No fancy apps to get you started like the Evergreen Miner here. Obviously, that's a choice of yours. And um, today, I just wanted to really just show you guys what's in here. This Raspberry Pi currently is active and running and farming. You can't see the LED on this side. Let me just show you guys right here. The LEDs on this side over here. Uh, there is two LEDs. There's another one over here somewhere. I just wanted to show you that this is not a static picture. This is actually a live, live, live video of Evergreen Miner that I have running right now. I'm doing for just this video. That's pretty much it, guys. If you want to find out exactly what's on the SD card, comment below. Let me know if that's something that you're really interested in seeing. I'll, I'll throw into a, a micro SD card reader and, and go through the files 
and the directories to see what's in there. But more or less, I mean, it, it's an operating system that connects back to the app so it can farm. I wasn't about to dig too deep into that, but if you guys are interested, of course, why not? Evergreen had to expect someone to go and abuse this thing, right? And there you go. I have mine all torn apart. I have no plans on putting it back nice and neat anytime soon. I want to see what I can do with it also. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys for being here. Please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and of course, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.